Hey, welcome to the Reddit time. What made you first realize your parents weren't very smart? Today I'll tell you about some true stories. Let's start. Watching a documentary on dinosaurs about 10 years ago when my mother enters the room and actually says to me, you don't believe they actually existed, do you? Couldn't fucking believe it. Does she happen to be a flat earther as well? Or moon landing denial, perhaps? My boyfriend and I were talking about the Second World War and his mother interrupted to ask if Hitler was the president of the US. How? My mom thought the movie Paranormal Activity was real footage and that there were no actors. She had a really bad habit of believing everything she saw on the TV. This is why Fox News does so well and MSNBC. When my dad asked me 9 years old how to spell a simple word, I started paying attention then. I saw how he had a bunch of credit cards, was repaying loans, spent tons of money on cigarettes and dump shit. Never used a stove or oven because he couldn't follow recipes, so all we ate was TV dinners and ramen noodles, refused to ever get any government assistance for anything. As I got older, he blamed us for his financial downfall. I started having mental breakdowns over going to McDonald's because he made me feel intense guilt over it. When I became an adult, I realized it wasn't my fault. I didn't bankrupt my dad. He was just a fucking idiot who blamed his inability to budget or ask for help on his kids. My dad thought a gift card with pictures of cookies on it could only be used to buy cookies. I love your dad. My mother believes that almost anything can be cured with homeopathy, essential oils and supplements. She distrusted all doctors. She believes that my brother is on the spectrum because he got the MMR vaccine. She might not have vaccined me and my brother at all if my dad hadn't insisted. I love the woman to death, but I can't talk to her about health stuff. It's infuriating. I had really bad acne my whole teenage years. It wasn't until I was older that I realized my mom was treating my acne with diluted water instead of actual medicine could have saved me a whole lot of scars later in life. My grandmother is the same way. She distrusts all doctors and thinks eating grass will cure all your ailments. She thinks all doctors just want to sell your drugs and the pharmaceutical industry is just out to steal your money. We live in Canada. Healthcare is free. And drugs are now free for anyone under 25 in Ontario. They fell for one of those there is a virus on your computer, call Microsoft now things. Then hailed me as a hero when I walked in, pulled up a page on my own computer to show them it's crap and told them to get off the phone with the guy immediately. I love them deeply, but they aren't very bright with computer stuff. My dad did the same thing. He came out and asked me about it. I told him it was a scam and ignored it. He walked right back into his room and paid the guy $350 on his debit card to log in and run the standard defrag cleanup programs. Then they locked him out of his computer and wanted more money to unlock it. We had to toss the laptop in the trash. It was old anyway. I got him a new one. We had to cancel his debit card so they wouldn't just hit his account again. And I had the phone company issue a new IP so they couldn't contract his new computer. One company suggested this move. The man has a master's in mathematics, worked on the garden systems for the Persian and Tomahawk cruise missiles. At 84 years old, is still teaching jet math students at two high schools, but falls for every scam. Noodles and rice are health foods. You have to eat a lot of them. I don't know why you are getting chubby. I love my mom, but her nutrition series are horrible. I knew my parents weren't smart way before this, but I was watching Bridge of Spies with my mom and she asked me what the Cold War was. My epiphany was similar. I love my dad and he is honestly a really bright dude. He was nuclear engineer in the Navy, worked at the Pentagon for a while, is a savvy business guy now. But one day we were talking with my Mexican uncle and my dad straight up said that the Spanish Inquisitions are a myth. My uncle and I were flabbergasted. My dad is super catholic so definitely has some wired crossed. Both super smart and blind at the same time. Both of them used to be analytical and rational people until you put them in front of a personal computer. Then they become like little children crying all the time. I guess I'm spoiled in this department. My dad is who I turn to if I have computer issues. My dad was giving me the bird and the beast conversation when I was about 15. He tells me. Don't go around just sleeping with every girl you think is good looking. You will end up with a kid you didn't expect. Make sure she is good for more than a role in the hay because she won't look that good forever. It was in that moment I knew he was reflecting on his own experiences with my mother. That started a snowball reaction of realization. My mom didn't know there was a first world war. 
as a kid when I asked about it, she said that I mixed up the number. It's World War II, not World War I. When I followed up with, then why do we put a 2 at the end? She said, because the war was so big we have to multiply by 2 to accurately describe it. She was dead serious. And just the other day she told my 3 year old niece, her grandchild, that all Turkish came from the country Turkey. She wasn't joking. I literally don't believe you. My foster mom doesn't believe in depression and thinks I'm addicted to my antidepressants. She caused a huge fight two years ago on Thanksgiving because she saw me take a pill bottle out of my glove box and pop one in my mouth. Surprise! It was my antidepressants. Earlier that day, she commented on her biological son's dependency on wheat, saying, If you need it to get through the day, then you need it. Nothing wrong with that, or something along those lines. When we discovered my brother had been doing cocaine for some time now, she compared the addiction he developed to my addiction to my antidepressants. I don't know why or how, but something's made her believe that depression isn't real and the pills I take are going to make me a drug addict. Meanwhile, my brother, her biological son, dropped out of high school when he was 16. Did I mention she is a registered nurse? It sounds like she is so far into denial of her bio son's issues that she projects all of them onto you. My mom is fine. My dad's a mess. Can never remember which type of diabetes he has. The man is 5 feet 8 inches and almost 300 IBS, living on bachelor meals and non-diet sodas when he was married, and still now that he is divorced. He is also adamant that Facebook is the best and most amazing incredible social media to ever exist and will never die off. Meanwhile, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, etc. are all scamming users for their info. LOL. That's also one of those people who thinks he is a photographer but is really just posting almost focused, unedited, uncropped smartphone pics on his photography page on, you guessed it, Facebook. Does he know that Instagram is Facebook? I asked my mom for Super Mario All-Stars on the Super Nintendo for my 8th or 9th birthday. She had no idea what I was talking about, so I explained what the game was. For those who may not know, it had all the originals, NES Mario games, Super Mario World and one other Mario game that I think was previously unreleased. The SNES was still new, so games were expensive, but that was literally all I had asked for, so I was fairly confident. A couple of weeks went by and I didn't really think much about it. On my birthday I came home from school to a big wrapped box, much bigger than the game. I tore into it and opened up the box to find an old Nintendo. Next to it were cartridges for the first three Mario games. I was so confused. Mom, it's exactly what you wanted. Me. It is. Mom, yes, I took your Super Nintendo and to the swap meet and traded it in for the games that you wanted. It's been over 20 years and she hasn't gotten any better. This is the only post in this thread that has genuinely made me recoil in horror. Well done. My mom calls me 45 times during work. Even when I told her I am too busy to even drink water and I pull 15 hour shifts and then gets mad because I didn't pick up her calls. Why don't you answer when I call? I don't know, maybe because I live halfway across the world from you and it's 4 am when you call. When she was fully convinced that the country of Mexico was made the 51st state of the USA in the 60s. No, she wasn't confusing New Mexico and Mexico. When faced with reality, she said that it was a widely taught fact when she went to school in the 70s. My mom got mad at me for getting a flu shot, because the government uses them to track and poison people. I was 30 at the moment. My mom and dad brought me home from the hospital while I was still on morphine from an ovarian-sized burst and left me in the bathtub alone because they demanded a bus. No one checked on me even once and I couldn't stay awake or move well on my own from all the pain medication they had shot into me so the water overflowed and nearly drowned and then got yelled at over not keeping an eye on stuff and flooding the bathroom in halfway. Stepdad sees one of those tearjerker commercials about starving children in Africa, proceeds to rant about how there is plenty of animals to hunt in Africa and why don't they just eat, literally shouting at the TV, eat, just eat. Am I a terrible person for laughing at this? Just the image of him screaming that's like it's a real solution, I mean. My mom borrowed $2,000 from me so she could get started in some MLM bullshit. Like a dumbass, I gave it to her mostly because she guilted me by mentioning all the time she had loaned me money. She eventually abandoned the whole thing and things got really testy whenever I would ask about the money. I got my money back eventually, but it took much longer than she promised me. If you can't get a loan from a bank, 
your ID is probably bad. My dad texted me recently to let me know that this is the only year where your age plus the year you were born equals the current year. I told him I had a lot going on right now and didn't have time to research nursing homes. My grandmother sent this to me on Facebook a while ago too and I didn't know how to respond so I was like, yes, that's how mass works. And she was just like, oh. My dad once told me he had pancreatic cancer. I asked, what stage? He said stage 3. I was devastated. Later on during the day, I asked my brother, he lives with him, dude, why didn't you tell me he had cancer? My brother had the most confusing look and said, he doesn't have cancer. He's been on this diet he saw on TV that consists of rice and vegetables. He's been eating like 1000 calories a day for the past few weeks. He googled his symptoms on WebMD and thinks he has cancer. Yeah, my dad is an idiot. Terminal idiot. If he thinks he has pancreatic cancer, then why is he eating rice? That's like pouring gas on a fire. When my dad set the house on fire by microwaving a Christmas pudding covered in plastic. When my mom heard that drinking a glass of red wine a day is good for you, she poured my dad a full pint glass of red wine and he downed it. When I asked them what made them think that was an appropriate amount, they replied, that's how much alcohol people drink in the movies. Shower thought, if people portray healthy habits in movies, people would inherently follow those habits. When my father went on Facebook and explained all about how the earth is flat, my grandfather actually told him to change his name since dad is named after granddad. I love your grandfather. I wish that that grandfather was my grandfather, then I'd have two grandfathers. Thank you for watching this video, we appreciate it a lot, we would like to see your stories in the comments down below, also subscribe to our channel, give us big thumbs up and see you in the next video.